it. You can see how they're broken and crumbled. And some, a lot of them are still full. Still a nice set. Sold for $406. This one is. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, I have an arts and crafts bolo video for you guys. Uh, this was, somebody in the comments said, it's time for a new arts and crafts video. So they were watching one of my old videos. So let me show you here. I show you at the end of the video, how to get to the other bolo category videos. So stay tuned for that at the end. All right, so we are gonna dig right in and get started with some big money bolos either big money or unexpected. Um, a lot of arts and crafts items are bread and butter. I'm going to show you some that are on the higher end, but just because you see this brand or this same item, do your research before you pay up for it. If it's cheap, I always say grab it and go comp it when you get home. I mean, if it's 25 cents or a dollar um, and you think you can flip it for a profit, then just grab it and go. That's what I always say. But um, if it's $10 or even $5, maybe look it up. So this is the first thing we're going to talk about. And then we're going to go into some different um, things that you do arts and crafts with. So we'll get into that. The first one here is this vintage artist painting palette. It's wood, unknown, nonstick surface. It's just somebody's old painter's palette. Um, so this one is more of an unexpected. When I saw this, I was kind of like, that's interesting, but it's really cool. Um, it'd make a good movie prop. But this sold for $47 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. That one's probably going to be a little bit harder to find. Now, this is a brand that I kept seeing over and over and over again as a big money bolo. Uh, Grum Bacher. And it says pre-tested oil paints. Vintage includes rare man blue, whatever that means. So it must be a color. But look at these, look at the packaging. I mean, they're rusty. They're not in great condition. But from what I understand, the vintage paint, if you squeeze the tube and it still feels soft, I think it's okay. Don't quote me on that. I am not an artist. I am not a paint expert. That is just what I have heard. I have sold paints. Um, I do look for them. Never this brand, never anything for crazy big money, but I have sold bread and butters. So, um, Grumbacher, G-R-U-M-B-A-C-H-E-R. -E okay, that one sold for $85 plus shipping. The next item is vintage Windsor, Windsor Newton watercolor paints. There's 33 of them here. Again, these are pre-owned paints. Um, just unbelievable, really. Uh, if you ever go to an estate sale and someone was an artist, you definitely want to take a look at these things. This sold for $111.50 with free shipping. Paint brushes, that is another one. These are new old stock. So these went for a little more. They also look very fancy. Uh, $121.50 on these. It says Wooster 4-inch Pure Bristle New Old Stock House Artist Lot of Two. All your information that you need to look up this item is right here on the bottom of the brush, um, which is weird because I don't even see that information. Um, I guess Wooster, yeah, part of it's there, but black stucco, I don't know if that's important number 35. But yeah, definitely look at uh, paintbrushes and not just these big ones, the small ones. Um, usually they have all the information written on the brush. Speaking of, here we go. We've got vintage Windsor and Newton LTD, or is that limited? Series 7 finest sable hair, made in England, 177.50 on these. And you can see right here, finest sable hair, it's got the different um, number for each brush. And you can, those first two maybe are new, not sure. There they are, $177. That's what fancy print brushes. And they did show this. I was looking at that one. I'm like, it kind of looks like it's been cut. So they even uh, pointed that out. That's interesting. These are vintage artists. And this is not all paint. Stay tuned. We're going to move into different categories. Vintage Artist Permanent Pigments Dry Color. So this one is dry color. Estate Artist Rhonda Yano. 
So I don't know, must have come from an estate sale. And maybe that was an artist that used these paints. Mm, $218.50 plus shipping on those. This next item is Lisa Frank. If you don't know who Lisa Frank is, get familiar with her. Um, so you used to be able to tell if Lisa Frank was vintage because the vintage items were capital L and capital F. Now they are coming out with repops or I don't know if they're repops, but um, I think it's actually Lisa Frank is still around and she's coming out with new versions and she has went back to the capital L and the capital F. So it can get a little bit confusing but you are looking for vintage Lisa Frank. Pretty much anything vintage Lisa Frank is gonna be a big money bolo. Um, some of it may only be in the $30, $40 range, but you know, if you find it at a thrift store or garage sale, you're usually picking it up pretty cheap. This is just a pencil with an alien topper head right here. And I wonder if, let me see here where, where it says Lisa Frank. Oh, yep, it says it on the actual pencil. And you can see there's aliens on the pencil. This one pencil, it's used, sold for $34.50 plus shipping. Okay, Frito, Frito Lay Frito Bandito Green Eraser Vintage Pencil Topper Lay's Chips 1968. When I was doing my research, I saw a bunch of these. It was not just one of them. It wasn't just like, oh, somebody got lucky. There were a bunch. And they were all in this, around this price range. $55 this guy sold for. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. I think I have one more example here. This one sold for $56 and it is orange. So there were quite a few. If you search solds for this, you'll see what I mean. The next item is this Hulk Hogan flat eraser by Winston Toys. Anytime you can find like vintage cartoon erasers, some of them are going to go for big money. I'm a little shocked that this one went for $50 plus $11 shipping, but hey, you just never know. It takes the the right buyer, you know, and somebody was looking for it and it's in really good condition. So erasers with themes, buildable erasers are another one. Here are some Diener, D-I-E-N-E-R. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I might not be. Itty bitty rubber erasers, but these are erasers that are shaped like things. It says these are from the 1950s. I have found these. I have uh, found dinosaurs before because I remember looking at them and seeing the the brand on them. Let me see if they show any of them where they show the brand. I hope that they do so you guys can see it. If not, you can um, search eBay and someone will show it because I know I always show the brand when I find these. But these sold for $80.99 uh, plus shipping. Now, let's see. Kind of see it on the yellow one there. But they are they are marked. It's kind of like carved into the the rubber. Here's another Lisa Frank. This is an eraser set as well, sold for eighty nine dollars plus shipping. Lisa Frank. This one is Sanrio. Uh, you see Hello Kitty a lot of items that are Hello Kitty or Sanrio. This is just a little bear, and you can see it's marked right here, nineteen ninety. And this sold for $31 plus shipping. So is that huge money? No, but it's a little eraser set. So yeah, you could probably get this really cheap. And that's a great turn on turn of profit. 1980s to 1990s, vintage Sanrio, lot of 18 erasers. Um, again, let's see. There it is. It's marked right there on that one. I don't know if they were all or if it's just a mixed lot, but somebody could be just going after those main ones right there. Sold for $42.97 plus shipping. The next item is this, uh, they're pastels. Pastels are another one that can go for really big money. They're old. A lot of them are used. It does not matter. They will still sell. Even if these were all half used, they will still sell. This, this set looks pretty good. Sold for $147.50 plus shipping, Talons and Zune, Rembrandt Soft Pastels. So that's that one. This set uh, sold for $345. It's the Grum, Bra Grum, ah, Grum Bocker again. And here you can see some of the papers off some of them. But still looks to be a pretty nice set. Looks like some are missing, but overall really nice set. 
So big money bolo there on that one. Here's another seven carry case, 279 pastels. All right. So you're thinking no way that sold for that. So I am over in their feedback. I put pastels and you can see here that the buyer left feedback. It did sell for $406. It says, OMG, so beautiful. Could not be more happy with my purchase. Excellent seller. Reimbursed extra shipping costs. Very fair seller. So um, it was a good sale. That's one way to check to see if an item actually sold. The next item is this Sharpie. Yes, vintage Sharpies. Can you believe it? Highlighters, Sharpies, weird stuff sells. People, I don't know why. Maybe people collect it, nostalgia. I have no clue, but they show you that it still works. This is a big, big marker here. Sold for $18 plus the shipping. The next item is this vintage Lisa Frank Stackers pin, three in one. This one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Again, it's Lisa Frank. So Lisa Frank is a no-brainer pickup. Okay, these are vintage Sanford Expo dry erase markers. Another one that I saw quite a few that sold for decent money. These sold for $38 plus shipping. I mean, they're vintage dry erase markers. It's crazy. It's crazy. And here's another set. And this is a set of 30 for $113.50 plus shipping. Perfect tips, potent ink. So still in really great condition is what they're saying. Here's a set. Um, these are in the original packaging, which is pretty cool. You know, you got the vintage advertising there. These sold for $224.99. New old stock, green and red, king size. 21 markers total. Now these are crayons. These are box of 48 vintage Whitman publishing crayon. Keeper good condition. Okay. Here they are. And look at the crayons. They're even like kind of kind of dried out and looking kind of funny and that sold for 59.99 free shipping. The next item here are these vintage Crayola crayon lot color slicks, glitter, metallic, special fluorescent. So these are all um harder to find, came out and probably limited edition type crayons. And these are vintage. So they've got the special packaging that they're not making anymore. And this one's uh, Doc McStuffins. But they sold one set so far and they have two available. We'll click on this and just see if it actually sold for that. It sold for $89.99. And they have two sets left. How on earth they have so many brand new sets like that? But let me show you their store. Um, I went in to their feedback and I put in Crayola. Just kind of curious. And I was shocked to find that somehow they find a ton of vintage crayons. Look at this, $34.99, $34.99, $24.99, $69.99, $69.99. Look at these prices, $109.99, $39.99, $69.99. All of those are crayons. Is that crazy or what? So there is definitely a market for it. Um, are they going to be more long tail? I would think so, but who knows? I mean, if the right buyer comes along right when you list it, awesome. This is a vintage Crayola crayon, Smith and Benny, Benny, uh, Benny, Benny, I think. Sharpener box, 64, Indian red, retired, um, $31 plus uh, with free shipping. I don't know what Indian red means. Uh, oh, I bet that was a color that they discontinued. Yep, that's what they're showing you. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. The next item here is this 1959 rare vintage Crayola crayon, 64 box, new old stock, unused, flesh Indian red. So that's what they're doing. They're selling these discontinued colors. Uh, 102.50. Interesting. Okay. The next one. Uh, Crayola giant chest of 120 crayons, 12 new colors, sold for $115.50. And it's just a big old box of crayons. Where are the crayons? With partial set. Okay, here we go. What? Now I'm confused. There we go. So not it's not even full. It's incomplete and sold for $115.50. The next item here are these Prisma color. Uh, premier huge lot of 30 vintage 
USA barrel colored pencils, 136.27 for these colored pencils that are pre-owned, different lengths. Um, definitely a bolo, right? This one here is a unused Eagle pencil confetti number two, orange, red, brown pencil rare. So you can see right here, it says 603 confetti. I Eagle pencil. This is why some people that just know this market look for this stuff. $130.48 plus shipping. Anybody know why that's so special? Let me know in the comments if you do. The next item here is an Eberhard. This is a uh, Eberhard Faber Black Wing 602 pencil. Eberhard is a popular brand that usually does pretty good. If you see that brand, definitely do some comps. And then check out this eraser here. It's kind of flat. Interesting, interesting. Um, there you go. There's another view of it. This sold for $81 plus shipping. The next item is this Dixon's El Dorado two one dozen lead pencils in original box. So you got this cool vintage advertising and original box. These sold for $71 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Judd's very nice vintage on a, on a toe fountain pen and pencil set. So um, pens and pencils in general, some of them can go for crazy money. This one sold for $96. It's got the original case. This is what uh, a fountain pen looks like. It's got this tip on it. Definitely um, some of those can go for big money as well. Here are these velvet pencils, vintage velvet pencils, unused, lot of two boxes, American Pencil Company, sold for $305 plus shipping. The next item are these 100 count Derwent light fast colored pencils, fairly used. Um, yeah. You can see $220.50 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage drawing pencils. Huge lot of Eberhard, Faber, Eagle. Uh, I don't know. Looks like a whole, but maybe just some of the different brands. So you got these here that are already used. Some that are not. Um, these sold for $260 uh, plus shipping. The next item is this um, John Deere novelty, novelty pencil. So you're looking for things like John Deere is very collectible. So that is going to bring up the value of this item. This one sold for $58 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage celluloid pencil clip advertising. Um, it's a pencil clip. So again, you know, it's got these Bradender tires and it clips onto your pencil. Sold for $126 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Sanrio. Again, we've got the Sanrio uh, from the 90s. Different things here. Hello Kitty and Dalmatian Dog sold for $33 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Hello Kitty My Melody pencil box. Um, so you got the little wallet and the ruler, just little different things. But I wanted to show you this one because it's the Hello Kitty. Sold for $102.50. Uh, free shipping on that one. Lisa Frank, this is a pencil box from 1989 with the cheetah print, sold for $64 plus shipping. The next item here is more Lisa Frank. This is stickers, pencils, coins, purse, stationery. I do have a video on vintage stickers. Um, that is one of my category videos. You can check that one out as well. It is an older video, but I think a lot of them are still very relevant. Um, so you could check that out and kind of just do your research. This one sold for $122.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1991 set of Charisma color pencils in box with booklet. And this sold for $64.72 plus shipping. So um, looks like it's in the original box, but used. More of the Eberhard Faber Blackwing pencils. So again, they've got these funky, funky erasers. Some of them do, not all of them. But definitely, I mean, that's going to catch your eye if you see it. These sold for $307 plus shipping. Next item is this vintage Mont Blanc mechanical pencil from the 1950s. It sold for over $1,000. Um, from what I understand, Mont Blanc can be faked. So some of the pens and pencils, um, 
can be faked. So be careful with that brand. I'm not saying don't pick it up. Usually if you see these, they're going to be priced really high. Um, most people know this brand, but um, just watch, just be careful with those. Make sure you uh, verify that it's real before you sell it. The next item are these vintage lot of 23 advertising can top wood pencils. These are awesome. I can't believe these didn't go for more. Uh, sold for $70, but look at them. They've got like little uh, advertising things on the top of them. How cool is that? I bet somebody bought this to um, flip and they're probably going to sell them individually because those are super, super cool. And they put in the comments that they would like to see a new version. So if you go to my YouTube channel and you go to the playlist tab, if you scroll to the second row and hit this arrow, it's going to take you over to my Bolo category videos. That is videos like this where I pick a category and I basically um, give you guys a rundown of Bolos in that category. I have 129 videos. Um, I've been doing these pretty much since the beginning of my channel. So if you go way back and watch some of the older ones, you may run into some dated information. So definitely try to um, make sure that you're checking to make sure that it's still relevant. But I do have recent ones like the top five fabric, vintage tins, vintage plush, uh, weird bolos, bathroom bolos, just like I said, 129 categories broken down for you. So definitely check out that playlist if you are new here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If there's a category that you would like me to do a video on, please let me know in the comments and um, I will try to work that in. Um, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. Thank you all so much for being here and thanks for watching. But this first one is this vintage, blah, 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 blah. try that again.